Okay, everybody, we're going through the diploma prep material here, and uh, we're taking a look through the logs and exponents chapter. Okay, this question right here, uh, this is kind of an interesting style of question. Uh, what we're doing here is, it, you just got to read it here. If log of three, sorry, log base 10 of 3 is equal to A, and log base 10 of 5 is equal to B, then find log base 10 of 3 25ths in terms of A and B. Now there are a couple of ways of doing this problem here, but but to be consistent kind of throughout, what I'm going to do here is is focus on expanding the expression that I want to restate. So you, the way you recognize this problem is here, you are given some information about one or two logarithms at the beginning of the question, and then I'm asking you to to restate one at the end here. The way I normally show my students to approach this is to take and expand. Use your log laws to expand that out. So the log of 3 over 25 is going to be equal to the log of 3 minus the log of 25. Now right away I've, uh, I've got my log of 3 pulled out of that. But now I'm stuck with this log of 25. Okay, I'm looking for the log of 5 here. So hey, I know, I know that the log of 25 Okay, now I'll write out the log of 3 first. I'm not going to do anything to that. But the log of 25, that is equal to the log of 5 squared. Now, it might be very tempting at this point to say, ah, well that's A minus B squared. But that's wrong. That's incorrect. Now let's explain that. Because you might look at this and say, well wait a minute, it says the log of 5 equals B. Well there it goes, log of 5, I've got the squared there, so B squared. But you got to remember what's going on here. What is being squared in this expression? Well, it's, it's the 5 being squared, okay? It's not the log of 5 being squared, it's just the 5 being squared. It's only a part of this. So I'm not actually getting the log of 5, this is still the log of 25. Now it might look like 5, but order of operations, remember, you put brackets there, order of operations would state that I have to do what's inside first. So, okay, that does not become that. I cannot at this point make a substitution for b here. However, I can do this. Okay, the log of 3 minus, I can bring a 2, that exponent, out front. And so now, I've got the log of 3 minus 2 log 5, and now I can make that substitution. Well, that's just a minus 2b, because now I am looking at just the log of 5. And this is what this expression I uh, want you to do. Again, there are other ways of doing this. Uh, that you can that your teachers might show you uh, but this is this is the way that I normally go about it